is Brad Whitford. I play with Aerosmith. And, uh, this is my good buddy and former employee, Greg Howard. In my mind, it was, got started in my mind uh, right around like 2005, 2006. Um, Ozzy and I become friends after I bought like three blockhead amps for, for Brad to use, um, starting in like 03. <clears throat> and then in 06, um, Ozzy called me and said, I have an idea for an amp for Brad that um, I want to make. And uh, if you guys don't like it, you know, you know, because I'm just going to build it. You know, we got it. It was amazing, and he brought it, and it was, it was on a. It didn't have a head case. It was on a piece of plywood, and we he played it for the show, and then we had another show in Boston the next night. Was this was in Philly, and we had another show in Boston two nights later, and so after the show, we're like tug of war with it. He's like, let me make a box for it. And Brad's like, no, you, I got to use it in the show. So I let him ha I let him keep it. We did one show without it. Went back to our old rig, and then after that, we used it for about the next couple of years. We started with the orangutan, which was basically an amp that I had Ozzy designed to meet basically my specifications for the perfect amp. The circuit didn't start from, we didn't go, okay, we're going to take a deluxe reverb and make it sound like this. We, it started from scratch. It was just, um, Ozzy just picked little pieces of, you know, circuits that he liked that he, and we fit them together until they became something. But we both come from the sort of the same school of thought when it, com when it comes to amplifiers. So most 30 watt amps, you can't get that kind of headroom out of. And uh, the Virgil, you can get that and more. Uh, so it really fit the bill. And I was also, I had to play, uh, I was doing most of this show with Johnny Lang, who plays out of, uh, Deluxe, uh, yeah, deluxe, deluxe reverb. Oh. So it was challenging, me, especially if I had a hundred watt Marshall with me. So we had to try and figure out ways to work, you know, work around that and plexiglassing the the cabinet and everything. But it just was too. It didn't, you know, it didn't sit right. When I got the Virgil out there, it was like perfect. Then they really, you know, those his deluxe reverbs and the Virgil was a perfect marriage. So yeah, I get the fun job. I get to plug my guitar into these things and just have fun with them.